Hey, Meredith here at Down to One Coaching. So I've always said that anger is how I highlight the areas of my life that I need to work on. And this was this has been true over the course of my life. And it's, um, you know, when I get angry, I realize that there's something at play deeper inside that I need to kind of work through and figure out what the root issue is and carry on. So the really funny thing is that kids are really, really good at accentuating those lessons. And this morning was no exception. So my son is very reluctant to brush his teeth ever. He hates it, just hates it. And so this morning I, we've been trying to find a time for him to brush his teeth in the morning. He doesn't like brushing it before he eats breakfast. He likes to brush it after. So, but it doesn't work because our mornings are too rushed. They're too chaotic, whatever. So this morning I said, you know, before breakfast, go brush your teeth. He lost his shit. No, 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 I don't want to. I'm going to do it after. I want to brush the sugar buggies off after I eat. Tough, like tough. I, no, go. And so... Of course, I ended up pulling out my mom voice and trying to reason with him and trying to be gentle and nothing. And I ended up yelling. And I ended up yelling loud. Get upstairs and brush your teeth. He did. He cried the whole time. He sobbed. And then he whined. And the whining drives me nuts. Like it just, oh, God, it drives me nuts. And so I went and I put myself on timeout. And I went to my room, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I don't, I, I, God, like, I just, I suck so bad at this parenting thing. Like, it just, I'm, I just, what am I doing? What am I, why? Like, what, uh. And so I stopped, and I realized that my mindset was not in the right place. I was in a defeatist mindset. I was in a, an I suck mindset. And so I stopped and I thought, what do I want? What do I want? And I want my kids to have good oral hygiene and, and it's important to me that they do. And I realized that this anger that I had, crap, try to get through these things without crying but I just I can't because it's it's so cathartic to heal these parts of myself I realized that the anger that I had was that when we had gone to the dentist a few months ago the dentist blamed me for his bad teeth they said that I wasn't doing enough to take care of his teeth and that I needed to step up and I needed to brush his teeth. There is nothing worse in the world than hearing from somebody else that you are responsible for damaging your child. There's nothing worse than that. And so my anger was that hurt. It was I holding on to that hurt that I've done this to my child. I've allowed this to happen. I've allowed him. Oh, God. I've allowed this to happen. And so my anger today was not at him not brushing his teeth. It was at me for allowing it to get to this point. And when your mindset shifts and you stop and you address that and you actually sit with that, that's when the magic happens. That's when the beauty of life unfolds. Because instead of sitting there with these thoughts of, I'm not good enough, I've damaged my child, I've allowed this to happen, I stopped. And I went, no, no, you know what? He's allowed to be upset. He gets to be upset. I don't. I have a choice. I can allow this thought of I'm not good enough to fester and to drag me down. Or I can 
turn it around and say, you know what? Yeah, I didn't put in the effort before. For whatever reason, I didn't. But I am now. And I don't need to understand why he's upset. I just have to understand that he is. And I can come to him from a place of calm understanding because I'm the adult. I'm, I can control what I think and how I act. Sometimes it's not in the moment. Sometimes I can't control that. Sometimes it gets hard, but I have control. And so after he brushed his teeth and he was still sobbing and I called him over and I, I explained and I told him like, look, I, I shouldn't have yelled. I was frustrated. I was angry. I haven't done the best for you up to this point and I want the best for you. I've always wanted the best for you. When you fight me on these things, it hurts me, but that doesn't give me a right to get angry at you. And so I said, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to be calmer. We'll, tr we'll find a routine that works for us. We will get there. We will get to a point where you're brushing your teeth on a regular basis. But I had to change my mindset. I had to stop thinking that I sucked because that was just going to lead to more anger. And I literally, as soon as I stopped and I recognized that I was in that I suck mindset, as soon as I stopped, I felt the relief. I felt the calm and I felt the control come back. And I thought, I've got this. This moment does not define me as a parent. But the next moment going forward does. And how I react to my son's frustration defines me in this moment to myself. And so I changed it. And I apologized for my anger because it's my anger, it's not his. It was not about him, it was about my hurt. And now I get to go forward and I get to understand that when it comes to teeth brushing time, I have to be gentle with myself and I have to respect my son's anger, frustration, whatever it is. That doesn't mean that I have to give in to him and not let him brush his teeth. It just means that I can now begin to learn how to communicate better with him my worry and my concern for his health rather than the anger coming out and frustrating him even more. Everybody wants to know that they're loved and that their, their needs are important, even your kids. And so it was a really important lesson for me to learn today that I don't, I mean, I don't have to have it all together. I don't have to know how to do everything. I don't. And I have failed a lot. I have dropped a lot of balls in the past. And I have done a lot of things that moving forward could have potential negative impact on my kids. And the funniest thing is that my whole life I've thought, well, not my whole life, my kid's whole life, I've thought, I don't want them to end up like me. I don't want them to be burdened with my issues. And when that's the only thought that I have in my head, that's the only thought that I can pass on to them. And that's why mindset is so important because mindset shifts, it creates, it creates better for you. It creates better for your family, it creates better for your kids. It creates better for your community. When you shift your mindset 
and understand that just because you've done something terrible in your past doesn't mean that you have to continue to be terrible. And you're not terrible. That's the thing. You're not terrible. You've done the best. I've done the best. In those moments leading up to this, I did the best I could. I didn't brush his teeth every day. I brushed it when I could, when I thought of it, when I, when I had the energy. I didn't even have time and energy to brush my own teeth. My mental health was so shit that I literally wouldn't brush my teeth for days because that took too much effort. Literally. And I know that that's probably gross to some people. But I didn't, ha I, I just couldn't. And I can't explain that to you. And I don't really feel like I have to, but it doesn't matter. I'm saying I'm always doing the best I can in this moment. And in all of the growth that I've done today was a really great lesson in understanding and growing from my anger and my frustration and understanding that while I didn't do great in the past, I have a choice from this point out and I do want the best for my son and I want the best physically for him, but I want the best emotionally for him and I know that when I'm in a better mindset, when I'm in a calmer mindset, I can bring that to him in an emotionally safe way for him. And it starts with me and it starts with you. Mindset is your understanding of your role in your life and how you present that to the people around you. And if you don't understand what your mindset is, you're never going to have control. You're going to constantly feel like you're faltering and flailing and sinking. Reach out. Let's talk. Like I I I want I want people to feel like this because when we work together to create this calm and this control, Your life just unfolds magnificently. It's worth it.